Ayo, it's so hot in here. I might just die. Why am I wearing a hoodie in th 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 30 degrees? <laughs> what was that? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So my name is Kayla, if you're new, I make content about technology, all aspects of it, editing, tech products, things like that. So I would love for you guys to join our community by clicking on the subscribe button down below and click on the bell to get notified every single time I upload a new video. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look on how to take notes on your iPad, any iPad that you have. And we're gonna be specifically looking at different apps that you can use. So I have three free apps and three paid apps that you can use to take notes on your iPad. You can just choose one that fits your needs more and just stands out to you the most. I've been making more and more content about this specific subject just because it's something that I use every single day and I think it could help you guys. So that's why I've been making more and more content about taking notes on iPad and just using your iPad for productivity in general. So yeah, that's what today's video is about. I hope you guys enjoy it and you find it helpful. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so here you see I have all the apps here on my home screen. So I have these divided into two folders, free apps and paid apps. Now the free apps are pretty minimalistic. They're really easy to use and they lack a few features that obviously that the paid apps have. And with the paid apps, I also have three, but the one app I don't have because I didn't buy it. So that's why I don't have it here, but I'll show you guys in the app store what it looks like and whatnot. But yeah, I can't really have any personal advice about that app. We'll see later which one it is. And I've made a few apps about this whole topic. I'll get to that as I get to the apps. But anyway, so now let's get started with all the free apps that we have available to us to take notes on. So the main focus of this is going to be handwritten notes. So first off, we have Notes, which is obviously an app that you get on your iPad as default. Notes is very minimalistic and very really quick and easy to the point. It's not the greatest note taking app, but if you just want to jot down some quick notes, I think notes is really, really great for that and you'll be happy either way. So in order to access your notes, you can create a new note and then just click on this icon down here, the pencil icon, tap on that, and then you can start writing. So here you can see this toolbar opens up. You can move this around however you want. You can put it in the corner as minimized. And you can also just like open it up and then have it here with all your tools. It has all the basic tools that you need. So you just have a basic pen. Okay, it's very pressure sensitive and you can also change the size of it. So you can do that. You also have a highlighter. The highlighter is over the text and not underneath it. And then you also have a pencil. I wish more apps did have pencil options such as Notability or GoodNotes, but yeah. Then we also have Eraser and you can have two options here, Pixel Eraser, which is just erasing as you go along, or you can select Object Eraser so that erases the entire stroke that is selected. So that's the difference between the different types of erasers. Then we also have the Lasso tool, so you can go like this and it will select a certain like area that you've selected. With the lasso tool, you can move it around by holding it and then moving it. Otherwise, just immediately tapping on it, it just does nothing. So you need to hold it and then you can start moving it around, whatnot. So that's what the lasso tool does in notes. You also have a ruler, which I think is actually really cool. Now, other paid apps, you just have to draw and hold and then it will snap into place. But yeah, you need a ruler for notes. So yeah, you can do some pretty cool measurements and drawings and things whatnot with your ruler that you have in here. Then you only have these color options. So that's the gist of note taking in notes. Like I said, it just has the basics, nothing too complicated or anything, just straight to the point, getting your job done is yes that. Now we have pages. Now pages is very similar to notes, so I'm just gonna create a new blank document here. So in order to draw something, you just have to tap anywhere with your Apple Pencil, and then you can select Add Drawing, it will say, you can say OK. But here's the difference, you have Drawing, and then you have Smart Annotation. So Smart Annotation is more of the basics like you get in notes, and Drawing is more like drawing with cool tools. So Drawing has a pen option like normal, the thing is with the drawing, it has more of a magnetic feel, if you can see where my stroke is, you can see it modifies it a bit so it looks better. Drawing has that in 
it I don't know why but I mean that's pretty cool then you also have a pencil option you have a crayon option let me just choose a different color here for just the sake of making it look more colorful then you also have the paint option so the paint option works like so so I'm gonna select a color and then you'll see when you start to draw it makes this kind of I don't know, it looks like the lasso tool almost, the kind of line that it creates, and then it fills that whole area. So that's what the paint area does. You just fill a certain area. So if I want to fill this area, I just need to like outline it a bit. And then it's filled. So that's what the paint tool does. So it's basic, easy drawing. And you also have a lasso tool here, it's the same as with notes. You can resize and whatnot. So that is what the whole layout looks like on pages. Smart annotation, like I said, it's like notes. You just have your pen, highlighter basics, you have a pencil, eraser, and lasso tool. So very similar to notes. OneNote is one of my favorite apps, I think. It's a Microsoft app and it's free, but it has so many things that you can do with this app and it's free so that's really cool so here you can see if i go back here you have different sections so you have notes like notebooks then each notebook has dividers and each dividers have pages so i'm going to go to this page here here you can see you can draw on the page or you can just do like straight just text so you can choose whatever you want this caters for both markets the ones who just want to type notes and the ones who want to write their notes as well. So I'm gonna go to draw, and then you can see all the tools you have up here. So we have just a pen option, and you have more than one pen option, which I think is cool. If you wanna quickly switch between colors, it saves a lot of time. So I can quickly write something down in white, go to red, write it down, go to yellow highlighter, highlight that. And then I can also add another highlighter for default. So I have a blue one. So I have a blue one, I can easily automatically switch to blue highlighter so that's what i really love about this app it's very nice and it's free and it has all the things you need you can also insert a space which i think is really cool so you tap anywhere and you drag down and then it creates a space for you to write which really saves time when having to insert any text or maybe you forgot to add another piece of information you don't need to lasso and move everything you can just easily make a space and then it's quick and easy like that obviously it does have also as a lasso tool you can resize and whatnot you also have text mode so you can just add some text they have a shape tool here so you can make default shapes or you can have ink to shape which is when you draw a circle and then it snaps into a circle or a rectangle whatever you want to use so really this is a really cool app i think if you're looking for a great free app to use and it syncs across all your devices you just need to log into your account syncs across all devices and it's just really an amazing app now for our paid apps so here we have goodnotes goodnotes and notability are probably the apps that you hear most of on youtube or anywhere now goodnotes 5 is seven dollars 99 on the app store so it's it's not too expensive i think for what it does good notes i'd say caters more for a mark who does like digital bullet journaling or people who like to customize and make their notes a lot prettier than most people so that's something that i can just if i can sum up good notes five in one word it's more open to customization so that's just that and then here you have your basic three different types of pens um, you have presets here again, so you're quickly going to be able to switch between black or green or red and the different sh like sizes. So one could be for headings, one could be for your body of your text. Same with highlighting. You also have default sizes, default colors. I really love this. You can also have it on so that it draws in a straight line automatically, so like so. Then also the eraser is pretty straightforward, it just <laughs> erases your content. Shapes tool, I'm not the biggest fan of. You can draw a shape, but it just doesn't make it look very great. And you can't edit the shape like in Notability, where you can select the edges and make it look more like a re rectangular. Then we also have a lasso tool, like everywhere. Lasso tool is really a good thing. 
Then we have our image section. You also have just text, so you can add text in here. I don't really love the text option in GoodNotes 5, but it's, I mean, it's all right. And then we have a laser tool, which is really, really random, but they have it here if you need it. And then also the beloved magnifying glass, so you can easily write like that. I just hate that it doesn't change as you write, but that's just my preference. So that's good notes five. Now Notability is my favorite note taking app, so I'm a bit biased towards Notability, but it's $8.99 on the app store. And I really love this app, but that's the only, I'm just not gonna say too much because then I would sound too biased. But I just love the minimalist look of Notability. So you have your pen tool here, you have two different types of pens, your color presets. So Notability is pretty straightforward. I just love <laughs> Notability so much. I use it every single day in class. I would say Notability is a more minimalistic approach to good notes. It has most of the same features plus some more which make it really good for in-class lectures that you want to record just saying so yeah notability i absolutely love it has the pen tool it has the text tool also highlighter by the way notability and good notes highlighters both highlight underneath the text not above it which just makes it sound out a bit more i think and also the same you have a whole eraser or you have a partial eraser, just like all the other apps. Lasso tool, real quick and easy to resize, minimize, whatnot. So that's really nice. Also have this option, so this just this enables your pen to write anything. It just acts as like a cursor. Then probably one of the coolest things in Notability, which makes people really love it, is the audio recording function. So say I'm writing and my lecturer is talking, I can write down any notes that I have while talking, and then I can stop, then I can click on the drop down arrow, play that. I'm just gonna skip forward a bit. Here you can see where the part where he, where I started writing, it goes and follows that. If you understand what I mean, I think the audio recording function is the thing that makes Notability great. <laughs> I don't actually use it, but I know that's something that really makes a lot of college students or university students love this app is because of the audio recording function. But yeah, that's Notability. It's more minimalistic than GoodNotes 5. A bit more expensive, but not that much. And I just really love this app. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about Notability. Now for the third paid app I'm gonna need to go to the app store for. It's called Note Shelf, so I've never used this app myself, so I can't really tell you. As you can see, it's in my currency Rand, but it equals up to about like $10 on the app store, $9.99. So here you can see, you can just look for yourself. I think it looks pretty cool and it actually just looks a lot like a mix between GoodNotes and Notability to be honest. But yeah, I've never tried it out for myself so maybe you guys can go leave comments down below letting us all know how this app is, if it's really worth the $10 compared to GoodNotes or Notability. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about this app since I don't really have a personal experience using this app so yeah i think it looks cool if i could i would buy it but i'm just not gonna spend till like ten dollars on an app that i'm not even gonna use i already have enough <laughs> but yeah those are all six of the apps that i would recommend again like i'm done recommending one like saying one is better than the other obviously like i said i do have a bias but to notability but i think all of these apps are great i think all three of them have something valuable and that makes them unique so I really recommend all six of these apps. The free apps, obviously some of them lacking some features, but they're all really cool and free. I mean, free is great. And then the paid apps have a few more functions and things, but they're pretty much do the same function. It's just on personal preference, which one you like more, what you like to do with your note taking style. But that's all I have to say about this. So yeah, that was my video on how to take notes on the iPad. I really hope it helped you guys out and you learned something new. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know any other questions you might have for me or video recommendations. Definitely subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon on the screen, click on the playlist to see all of my other iPad related videos, and click on the video to my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much, be weird, and be proud of it. Do you see my Groot over there? He's pretty cute. I think so. And my bed is flashing. I gotta go. Bye.